A scientist recorded the number of eggs in each of 10 birds' nests. What was the standard deviation of the number of eggs in the 10 nests? Statement number one tells us that the average or the mean number of eggs was four. So the mean equals four. Well, the trouble is we don't know what this means about the distribution. We could have all of them being four, or we could have most of them being, say, one or two, and then just a couple that were that had large number of eggs. And because we don't know this distribution, we would have no way to figure out the standard deviation. As a general rule, if you know the mean, that in and of itself gives you zero information about the standard deviation. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that each of nest contain the same number of eggs. Well, that's crucial because whenever you have a list and all elements are the same, well then, what that means about the standard deviation, the standard deviation equals zero. In other words, if there's no variation on the list, if they don't deviate from each other at all, then the standard deviation is zero. And so it doesn't even matter how many eggs are in the nest, as long as there's the same number in each, the standard deviation is zero. This statement is sufficient to give the actual numerical value of the standard deviation. Now, if standard deviation is an unfamiliar concept to you, I would highly recommend checking out magoosh.com. Magoosh.com has a few hundred videos to prepare you for GMAT math. It also has a few hundred videos on the verbal side including videos that would explain in great detail everything you would need to know about standard deviation for the GMAT. So here we have statement number one insufficient, statement number two sufficient, answer choice B.